Hey guys, it's Ryan with AIinsidertips.com. In this quick video, I just wanna let you guys know about Google Bard introducing extensions. Now I'm also going to explain what these extensions are and also show you some real life examples of how you can utilize these extensions in your day to day, travel plans and other use cases. So guys, if you visit Google Bard, which is simply bard.google.com, you should see this pop up here that says introducing Bard extensions. It says get more done with apps all in one place. So real, really guys, what this is, is this is Bard just providing seamless integration with all of these different Google entities. This includes Google Maps, Google Flights, Google Hotels, YouTube, Gmail, Google Drive, and all the dozens of applications that they provide in their ecosystem. So if you click next, right here what I just explained, Gmail, Google Docs, and Drive, it explains here how you can integrate with your Google Workspace. So if you click next again, there's an option here where it says you can double check Bard's responses, read this if you want and click done. To access these Bard extensions, come up to the top here and you'll see this option for extensions. So go ahead and click that. So guys, after you wait a few seconds for these extensions to load here, right away you will notice five different options. And the first thing that I thought of is that over time, Google will likely add more extensions to Bard than these five. I think they're just rolling these out as a test pilot experiment here to start. So here we have Google Flights, we have Google Hotels, Google Maps, Google Workspace, and YouTube. I'm actually gonna go ahead and toggle this one on because I'm gonna show this in this video and also probably use this over time at some point. So I'm gonna click connect and you'll notice here this is tied to my Gmail account that I am logged into using Google Bard right now. So go ahead and click connect if you wanna do that. And now you'll notice all the toggles are turned on for these five extensions. Now guys, if for some reason you want more information or details on these extensions, you can click this question mark icon up here. You can click updates and then it will give you all the information on the experiment updates. So here there's information on extensions. You, you know, you see the one here about Gmail docs and drive um, and just various other details and update information on Google Bard, which this one came out on September 19th. So a few days before the recording of this video. So guys, just good information to have and to stay up to date with all the different things going on in the background of Google Bard. I'll leave a link to this in the description below if you're curious for more information. So as I come back to the extensions here, guys, let's use this as in a real world application. So to do that, all you need to do is click new chat. And in this example, I'm gonna try to book a flight using that flight extension. So I'm going to say, please book me a flight from Chicago to New York. And then I also want to say I am departing on September 30th and returning on October 5th. And now let's see what Google Bard comes back with pulling in that Google Flights extension. And as you'll see right away, the Google Flights extension already starts to populate. So if I click this, it says query successful and it did use the extension. Um, so right away here, it gives me five different options without even going to the Google Flights tab. And if I scroll down, it looks like it's this is the exact same UI or user interface that you would see if using the Google Flights website. Um, so it gives me five options right here with United, American, Southwest, and Frontier. But guys, if we want to take this, you know, even a step further, I'm going to click new chat and I'm actually going to copy and paste this over and we're just going to rework this prompt. I'm going to say, um, please book me a trip from Chicago to Punta Cana. And I'm going to say include flight and hotel options. I am departing on September 30th and returning on October 5th. And now let's see what Google Bar does with these extensions coming in in the background. As you'll see right away, Google Flights is here. Now Google Hotels comes into the equation too. So you're gonna have to give it just a few seconds while all the data is populating as they are pulling in real-time results from Google. 
And right here, you'll see it breaks it up into, you know, flight, hotel. Um, and then also it gives you even an itinerary, which is pretty cool. Um, now, if you want to double check this or cross reference, you may see sometimes an option here that says query unsuccessful. This depends on just your prompt and they also are in beta mode. Um, so guys, you can always go to the Google Flights website or the Google Hotels website and you can cross reference data. But regardless, it still gave me some options. It provides a flight here, American Airlines, Spirit, United, and then it also provides some hotel options as well. The Tortuga Bay, Punta Cana, Eden Rock, Zuitria Gua, Punta Cana. And what's really cool is I didn't even ask for this, but it provides an entire trip itinerary. So it provides, you know, I said I was gone for, you know, four days, day one, day two, day three, day four, day five. Um, but guys, pretty cool in my opinion that I can just simply go and say, book me a trip and it pulls real time data from Google Flights and Google Hotels all in one interface with Google Bard. So now guys, I'm gonna try using the YouTube Bard extension. So I'm going to say, uh, please find me a tutorial on learning the basics of chat GBT. And then I'm gonna make sure that everything in the prompt is spelled correctly. And then once you do that, you can actually hit the at button on your keyboard and you will notice these different drop-down options, Gmail, Docs, Drive, Flights, Hotels, Maps, and YouTube. So I'm gonna add YouTube here, click Enter, and now let's see what this comes up with. So right away, I notice the YouTube extension has pulled in the background, and here it just provides me a nice bullet list of all the different YouTube videos for ChatGBT. So you may ask, well, why don't I just go to YouTube and ask the same exact thing in the search bar? And you can definitely do that, but if I come back here to Bard, this just lays it out in a nice quick bullet point you know, format without looking at thumbnails or just any other factors that may deter you from clicking on other options. So that's what I like about this is it provides a quick bullet point list here of five different videos. And then it also has you know, the traditional search that you would see if you were to go to YouTube and type in this exact same thing. Um, so just kind of a cool thing there. All right, guys, so the last use case I wanna show you with these Google Bard extensions is how we can integrate it with our Google Workspace, meaning Google Drive, Google Sheets, Google Docs, and all of those other popular Google entities that most people are using on a daily basis. So like I did previously, I'm gonna hit the at sign here, and I'm going to click Google Drive. And then I'm going to say, um, please provide me a summary of the best AI writing software Google Doc. And I'm just curious to see what this is gonna do is this is my first time doing this. So you'll see right away, it's using the Google Workspace extension and it's trying to find the document in there. So here it, it actually comes back with something right away. It says the Google Doc best AI writing software and just for you know purposes here, I do have this open in another tab as this is a blog post that I was working on a while ago for my website. Um, so I did have this in a Google Doc in a rough draft mode. So that's why I use this in this example. But it says the Google Doc best AI writing software provides a comprehensive overview of the top AI writing software tools. And I need to change this. It says in June 2023. The document covers a wide range of factors, features, pricing, pros, cons, and more. And then it lists out a bullet point of some of the best AI writing software that's discussed in this article. So it talks about WriteSonic, Jasper, Copy AI, Writer, and then it just provides some other summarizing points here. And if I scroll down, you will see it is pulling in stuff, you know, from my AI Insider Tips Gmail, but also some shared documents with my personal Gmail as well, um, which is kind of cool to see. So really, guys, what's cool about this is you can, you know, prompt Google Bard with anything that pertains to any document, any Google Sheet, Google Slides, and any Google entity that's inside your Google Workspace. So guys, there are probably thousands, if not millions of different prompts that you could think of, of how this would be useful to integrate Google Drive within Google Bard. So again, guys, this is Ryan with AI Insider Tips. Hope this video on Google Bard extensions helped you guys out. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment below, 
And guys, I look forward to releasing more content like this in the near future.